Hey, what's up, everybody? Doran Aldana here, coming at you with another kick-ass episode of the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast. And today we're going to talk about how to pivot from refi to purchase, from the refi market to the purchase market, doing it the smart way, not the hard way, not the clunky way, not the old school way, not the trudging through the mud with concrete blocks on your feet way, but the smart way without buying crappy internet leads or cold calling. So we all know that the writing is on the wall. We're in a rising interest rate environment. All the inflationary indicators are all over the news and we're certainly already starting to see rates going up and we're seeing our refi business drying up to some degree. Now, obviously there's always gonna be refi business, but we're noticing, and chances are you're no exception, a reduced volume in refi demand. And that's obviously because the cost of borrowing is becoming more expensive. So anytime rates go up, obviously that faucet in the refi revenue side of things tends to dry up. It's not gonna dry up entirely because there's always gonna be reasons to refi. No matter how expensive money and borrowing money becomes, there's always gonna be reasons to refi. But we've been in the glory years for the last couple of years since COVID hit. And uh, there's been a lot of low hanging fruit. Now, obviously that low hanging fruit is starting to dry up. I've been talking to many, many clients who have gone from having their best year yet in 2021 or 2020, and they're seeing a steep regressionary pattern in their pipeline due to the fact that they've been picking that low hanging fruit to the neglect of the purchase market. And so now they're freaking out, scrambling, because they realize they're in a rather precarious position when they're sitting on a one-legged stool, relying on 50%, 60%, even 80 90% refis in a rising interest rate environment. That does not bode very well. So we're seeing lots of mortgage professionals scrambling in desperation mode as they're having goose eggs with zero closings or one closing or two closings when they're used to four, five, six, or even 10. So massive financial haircut, steep regression pattern. And uh, obviously when you're used to making freedom money, it's hard to go back to making, you know, office or rather uh, I can't afford it prison money, right? That sucks, right? When you can't afford to do the things you used to be able to do and now you're either dipping into savings or having to cram your life into a smaller budget box, that sucks. And many that I speak to as we move into this more purchase market, as the market starts to shift, they're worrying, uh, they're freaking out, they're having sleepless nights. It's not just a little blip, it's like constantly on their shoulders, like a monkey on their back. Just that worry and fear around where's their next deal gonna come from? And how do I get these realtors to give me their, the time of day? Because they're just not giving me the time of day. Everyone's scrambling to shift out of the refi market into the purchase market. And so all these refi crabs are crawling out from underneath their refi rocks and everyone's clamoring after the same realtors. And if you don't have a kick-ass value proposition, good luck with that. You may have noticed that realtors are pretty jaded because it's like, well, a year ago, you weren't giving me the time of day. And now just because rates are going up and refis are driving up, drying up, now you're calling me. Now you want my referrals. Now you're showing up to be my loan leech, my mortgage parasite leeching loans from me. I don't think so, right? So we're seeing a significant exodus out of the refi market into the purchase market, but most people are just meandering in the wilderness unarmed and naked without a plan, without a GPS. And they're wondering why it's not voting very well, which is why I'm doing this episode to give you guys clarity on not only how important it is and why it's so important to pivot into the purchase market for obvious reasons, but more importantly, to equip you to win so that you're actually being effective and fruitful in your overtures. Now, obviously, there's uh, a lot that we can talk about when it comes to unique advantages of the purchase market. I just want to name a few just to impress upon you how important it is to even in a really, you know, mortgage gold rush, crazy low rate market like we've been in for the last couple of years where we've had historically crazy low rates and all this low hanging fruit, which has caused, uh, you know, most people who have an ounce of ambition and just a little bit of work ethic have been making money hand over fist in this 
refi market if they've been in the business for more than a year or two they've just been crushing it so you know we'll take it right we'll take that rising tide when it's there but now the tide is starting to recede and again many of you chances are, are noticing you're getting caught with your pants down scrambling to recoup lost revenue as that refi revenue dries up so that's why it's so important guys to lay a solid foundation in the purchase market it's great to have the low hanging fruit with refis but we want to have a solid, consistent, recession-proof foundation in the purchase market because truth be told, regardless of how much rates go up, people are going to continue to get into the market, move up in the market. They're going to continue to get married. They're going to continue to get divorced and they're going to continue to die. And all those happenings, all those occurrences require mortgage transactions. So we want to make sure that you're capturing an ever-increasing portion of that pie and gaining more and more market share in the purchase market and that gives you stability consistency reliability and peace of mind to know that you have the lion's share of the uh, access to those purchase deals because you have a solid foundation in the part purchase market and you have a dream team of kick-ass rock star top producing realtors who have made you their exclusive sending you all their business all the time that gives you that sense of knowing and certainty that allows you to plan for the future. Because with refis, in many cases, it's kind of like we could do it, but we cannot do it, right? There's no gun to your head to do it. Whereas in the purchase market, there's more of a white hot fire burning desire, a little bit more urgency based on the fact that, you know, there's a scarcity of properties and they want to be able to get in before rates go up higher and they don't want to miss out. You know, it's the FOMO, right? Fear of missing out. They don't want to miss out on that dream home as uh, other people are clamoring for the same limited amount of properties. So there's a certain amount of positive pressure that counteracts human tendency to procrastination. And the other cool thing is, as a general rule, purchased clients are more fulfilling, right? They're excited, they're delighted, they're grateful, they're ecstatic. You know, you help change their life. You know, sure, refis can change their life too, give them more uh, financial peace of mind, give them more cash because they're cash poor and equity rich. So you give them a little bit more uh, room around the collar, so to speak, in terms of their finances. So refis are cool too. You can change their life with refis, but there's something about getting someone to their dream home with the pride of home ownership, the joy of home ownership in a quiet and beautiful neighborhood and, uh, you know, close to the schools they want to send their, their, their kids to. And to be able to just wake up every morning knowing that they're building equity in their own home, their dream home, instead of making their landlord rich, there's something extraordinary about that. Not to mention the fact that it helps to build generational wealth for generations to come. As they get themselves in the market, now they're building equity, now they're building wealth. Now they have something, their biggest asset usually is their home, to be able to pass that on to generation to generation. That changes not just their life, but the lives of their offspring. That is legacy impacting, right? So the purchase market has higher average commissions per deal. They tend to be more grateful. They tend to be more likely to send repeat and referral business. They tend to give you more, not just monetary reward, but psychic reward because it feels good to have someone praising you and being so ecstatic and being gushing with gratitude, does it not? There's that fulfillment factor that fills your tank. And so let's not neglect that. And the other really cool thing is they tend to be more urgent around timeframes because there's a limited amount of inventory and they don't want to miss out. You don't have the same type of urgency in the refi market, which is why you have more people bowing out typically in the refi market uh, versus people who are under contract in the purchase market, it's pretty much a done deal unless there's something to do with you know, the appraisal or the inspection or whatever. And now with this crazy seller's market, even those are getting pulled out because people are just you know, pulling out all the stops to get an accepted offer. So all that to be said, the purchase market, market is where it's at to build stability, consistency, reliability, and build a recession-proof business. So you're building the mansion of your dreams on a rock solid foundation versus quicksand. Now, uh, the 
slow, hard way to pivot into the refi market is to do it the old school method, you know, using caveman methods from the dark ages, like cold calling realtors every freaking Monday, right? We've all heard that cold calling 40 freaking realtors every Monday is definitely doing it the hard way, especially if you don't have a kick-ass value proposition, especially if you're just offering great rates, great service. I got all these loan programs, throw me a bone. That's just old news, friends. And if you've tried that for more than a day, you know that it's not exactly a compelling uh, you know, offer to these realtors. They're not going to give you the time of day if you have that kind of a lame, weak-ass value proposition. So that's the slow grind up the mountain. Another slow grind up the, met- up the mountain method is buying internet leads, buying you know, Zillow leads, or you know any of those lead providers. You're having to you know, chew up your margins, number one. And you're having to sift through a mountain of gravel just to find a few gold nuggets, number two. So you're wasting your time on a bunch of shit leads that don't respond, that don't convert. And they tend to be lower uh, credit, lower down payment, down more down payment assistance types of clients. You got to put them on you know, life support. You got to put them on credit incubation. Uh, it takes a long time for them to convert. Your average loan size is much lower. So all that to be said, you're working longer and harder for less. That's definitely doing it the hard way. Not to mention the fact that there's an opportunity cost of chewing up your time, time you can never get back with these crap leads. we got to sift through 50 to 100 of them just to close one versus having hot for what you got, pre-sold, pre-tenderized, predisposed to work with you by referral only clients who are referred to you on a silver platter from a silver spoon, endorsing you as the go-to mortgage pro. So much easier to convert, way less rate conscious, way more fun, higher average commission deals, more affluent, right? They got their poop in a group, so to speak, when it comes to their finances and their documentation and all that stuff. They're easier to convert, which means you're doing more of the, you know, the uh, conventional loans versus non-QM or uh, alternative lending. And so, so I was just talking with uh, one of my loan officers with my brokerage just the other day. And before she transitioned to my brokerage, she was used to working with investors who are super price conscious. They may be affluent in many cases if they're a good investor, but they're super price conscious, right? So you have to whittle down your margins considerably to the point where you're hardly making any money. And yeah, they might do more transactions, but you can't make up for, you know, making no money on a transaction by volume, right? That just means, hey, I made 50 bucks on this deal. I'll just do more deals to make up for it. That's not going to work, right? That's not getting paid. So there's an opportunity cost because what happens is you start to not only chew up your energy and time, energy and time you can never get back. But you start to settle because you feel this feel, fear of scarcity, fear of you know missing out when it comes to like, what if I let these people go, then what? So you start to feel this fear of losing them if you cut ties with that kind of clientele. Oftentimes, there's a fear of what happens if I don't have anything to replace them. So now you're living in this fear cycle, right, that I call where you're now in this self-fulfilling prophecy of feeling fearful around what happens if I let go of this not ideal partner and not ideal clients if I don't have anything else to replace. And if you're living in that fear, chances are, if you allow that fear to tow you about around by the nose, chances are you're going to continue to perpetuate that fear. As Mark Twain said, do the thing you fear and the death of fear is certain. So it's counterintuitive to feel the fear and do it anyways. But that's how champions roll. That's the only way to create your dream life and your dream business is to feel the fear and do it anyways. Because here's what I know, and this is what we teach here on Planet Prosper at MortgageMarketingCoach.com. And that is you can have it exactly the way you want it if you don't settle. But the alternative to that is let fear tow you around by the nose, settle for second best, and do it the hard way, the slow grind method, cold calling, dealing with shit leads off the internet, or you know, dealing with investor type clients or lower uh, average commission per deal type clients, more rate conscious type clients where you have to grind down your margins considerably. That's still the long, slow grind up the mountain because it's not about how many transactions you do, it's about how much you earn and how much fun, freedom and flow and fulfillment you're enjoying along the way.
So what if you could have it all? What if you could have the best caliber partners, the best caliber clients, easiest to convert, most fun, most fulfilling? They send you maximum repeat and referral business and rave reviews. I can tell you that many of my best clients had the exact same sentiment as you. They're like, man, that sounds like a pipe dream. It would be nice, but there's almost this resignation and cynicism in their voice. Like, yeah, that's totally hype, man. That's not the real world. And again, if you're showing up to the gunfight with a butter knife, yeah, you're right. It, it's chances are just hype. If you're going east looking for the sunset, you're right. It's probably just hype. But if you start heading west looking for the sunset instead of east, everything changes. All of a sudden, the light of a whole new level of power, peace, fulfillment, joy, prosperity dawns on your life when you start heading west instead of heading east. It's a whole new world. It's like you've been crammed into a cold, dark cave for all the time you've been doing it the hard way. And all of a sudden, someone flips on the lights. It's like a whole new world for you. And that's my goal for you as well. So let's talk about the smart way. We've already talked about the slow, hard way. Let's talk about the smart way, the fast way. So the smart, fast way to pivot into the purchase market is number one, we don't want to go after the, you know, whining, sniveling, complaining, jelly donut eating, bottom feeding realtors who work with, you know, the trailer park uh, buyers and sellers that have, you know, average loan sizes of 80 or 150K. That's definitely not going to get you to your income goals in an expedient fashion. Uh, we're not going to want to go after the low producing realtors that do one or two or three deals a year. That's not going to get you to your income goals. You're going to need a shit ton of those to ever get to your income goals. If you're getting one or two deals a year from your partners, that's definitely a slow grind up the mountain. We want to make sure that we're going after the best of the best partners. What are the best of the best partners? Well, I'm glad you asked. The best, the best partners are the top producers doing 20 plus buyer side transactions a year. So they usually have a significant database. They usually own the lion's share of the inventory in the market in terms of listings. Uh, they usually have the, uh, the biggest following of buyers and sellers. They've got a great brand name. Uh, they got a pleasing personality. They're driven, they're ambitious, they're motivated, they're marketing minded, and they always want to be growing. They always want to be expanding because they realize that if you're not growing, you're dying. If you're not growing, you start to stagnate and stagnation breeds rot and they don't want to be breeding rot. So that's kind of the mindset around your ideal partner, someone who's open to learning, growing, expanding, and they always want to be taking new ground and new territory. And they've got enough humility to understand that the reason why they have a dream team and a rock star like you in their corner is so that they can be freed up to do what they do best and get the best to do all the rest. So it's about having you in their corner to gain more control over the quality of the transaction and maximize repeat and referral business and rave reviews and give them peace of mind so they can sleep well at night every night knowing their commission is locked in. They don't have to worry about the deal imploding at the 11th hour because they got you in their corner to make sure they have a peephole, a portal into their client's financial situation, and to make sure they don't just get a pre-approval, but they work with you to make sure that they actually get under contract. There's a big difference between getting a pre-qual and a pre-approval, and there's a big difference between just getting a pre-approval and giving the client a winning strategy to get under contract. And that's what you help bring to the table. So now we're working with the best caliber partners who have the lion's share of the inventory. They do the most amount of the transactions. They have the highest capacity to send the most amount of business most often. And now, one of those partners, when they make you their exclusive, is with worth one, two, three deals a month. Do the math on that. If your average commission per deal is, say, three Gs a pop, we're looking at thirty to $90,000 a year, thirty-five dollars to $90,000 plus per year, just from one partner. How many of those partners would you need to get to your income goals? Not that many. Chances are, to get to your in income goals, all we need is probably five to 12 rock star top producing realtors sending you one, two, three, three deals a month. True? If that's the case. Notice it's all about going narrow, deep, and rich with a few instead of shallow, skimpy, and wide with many. That's what I call the shortest path to the cash. There's no brownie points in the bank for, bank for doing it the hard way. There's no merit badges at the bank for taking the long, slow grind up the mountain. Why take 
the 20 story staircase with a 50 pound backpack, busting your bun, sweating your ass off, doing it the hard way when you can just press the P button on the elevator and go straight to making prosperity money, penthouse money, right? That's what I'm talking about. Just go straight to what works instead of messing around doing it the hard way. So the fast way, the smart way is targeting the right partners, but you also need to have the right value proposition and you need to have the right method right? You got, you can't just have an overture like, Hey, uh, I got great rates, great service, throw me a bone. Cause they've heard that a million times. You and I both know that doesn't work, right? That might've worked 20 years ago. It doesn't work anymore. You know, they're a lot more sophisticated. They have, uh, you know, a shit ton of loan officers banging down their door every week asking for referrals. You can't be that same person, right? So when it comes to a great metaphor to depict this, I love Dean Jackson's metaphor of the cheese and the whiskers. You see, if you want to attract a mouse, you want to make sure you're just showing the cheese because they love them some cheese, right? And so the key to making this work is to have a value proposition that focuses on what they want, which is the cheese and removes what they don't want, which is a sales pitch, which is getting into all the minutia about all the shit you can do for them. I can do this. I can do that. Whiz bang this, whiz bang that, gadget this, gadget that, gizmo this, gizmo that. They don't want to hear it because frankly, the more you tell, the more you repel. The more you tell them about all the shit you can do for them, the more they're thinking, oh, I already do that. I already did that. It didn't work. My broker owner already provides that. And so the more you tell, the more you repel. You want to keep it real simple. And that's having a kick-ass value proposition where you're just showing the cheese without the whiskers, right? So it's almost impossible for them to say no. And then we here on Planet Prosper at MortgageMarketingCoach.com, we teach a two-step method. It's called diagnose first and prescribe second. By the way, if you went to a doctor and the doctor prescribed first before they diagnosed, what would you call that? Malpractice, right? Same thing here. If you prescribe first without diagnosing, it's malpractice. Not to mention the fact that realtors and frankly, anyone, whether it be your clients, whether it be your partners, whether it be in marketing in general or your partners or clients in particular, people will not buy the solution if they don't buy the problem. They must buy the problem first before they buy the solution. So that's why we diagnose first, prescribe second. So we teach a method, a two-step method with a sophisticated very simple, very elegant approach where we uncover their pain points, their challenges, what keeps them up at night. And we uncover the frustration points. We uncover the gap between where they are and where they want to be. We uncover where they're leaving money on the table. We uncover where their marketing engine's losing steam, where they're doing it the hard way. They didn't even know it. So it's a bit like an MRI scan or an X-ray of their business to uncover where you can help them. But we can't get to that appointment until we get really good at booking appointments. And that's where we have our realtor attraction campaign, otherwise known as the RAC, where all you do is upload a list of top producing realtors. And yeah, we have a rapid uh, realtor reconnaissance system that allows you to only target the top producers who are hot for what you got or not hot for what you got, but the ones that are doing 20 plus transactions a year, the ones that maybe don't have a preferred lender, the ones that are, are doing the kind of production that would have them be a good quality VIP partner for you. We have all that information at our fingertips. So we can build a list really quick, really efficiently with their name, their contact information, their email, their phone number. And then we just load that list of top producing realtors into our realtor attraction campaign and bada bing, bada boom, you're booking appointments with top producing agents like a hot knife through butter. And then we teach you at the appointments exactly what to do to get them eating out of your hand, position you as irreplaceable and indispensable so that we flip the script so that the realtor needs you more than you need them. How cool would that be, right? So now you hold the cookie. Now you're in the driver's seat. And frankly, anything less than that is doing it the hard way. And so now you've got a system to get the appointments, book appointments at will, like a hot knife through butter. You have a system to do the appointments, to diagnose their pain, their challenges, and what's keeping, up, keeping them up at night and where their marketing engine's losing steam and where they're leaving money on the table to their competitors. And then we have a system to prescribe a solution for what ails them. So you become irreplaceable and indispensable. They're eating out of, their, out of your hand 
and you become a bona fide, certified, qualified marketing partner, not just a average Joe LO loan leech, mortgage parasite trying to leech loans from them, right? Can you see how that would make a difference? Can you see how helping them grow their business and bringing them more buyers and sellers and helping them put more zeros and commas in their bank account, working smarter, not harder, is gonna help you become a whole lot more attractive than just being an average Joe LO offering great rates and great service no brainer of the year, right? That is a no brainer. The question is, how do you do that? Well, I'm glad you asked. If you're listening to this right now, you're on 100% commission, you earn at 85 basis points or higher comp land, and you're wanting to take your business to the next level, and you're sick and tired of being sick and tired of doing it the hard way, spinning your wheels, banging your head against the wall, and knowing that you're capable of so much more, and yet not knowing how to tap your full potential. If you're sick and tired of feeling like, you're just a fraction of who you could be, a fraction of who you're called to be, a fraction of who you're capable of being, and you're ready to increase your income by at least $100,000 or more per year. And you're absolutely got this white hot fire burning desire in your belly to step up your game and to start making freedom money for your family. If that's you, I invite you to book a complimentary breakthrough call with myself or one of my consultants. It's just a real honest raw conversation where we shine the light of truth on your situation and we're going to look at you know where you're at now where you want to be and we're going to look at you know what's working what's not working and if we can help you bridge the gap between where you are and where you want to be by all means we'll show you what that looks like if not frankly we'll be the first to advise you to pass on our services either way though our goal for you is that you leave that call with massive value massive clarity and chances are we're going to have some fun fair enough so if that sounds fair, and you know, obviously I, I can't imagine why it wouldn't sound fair if you're ready to take your business to the next level and you're intelligent enough to know it's gonna be a whole lot more expensive to learn from your own mistakes than to learn from an expert and you're sick and tired of trying to reinvent the wheel, you just want a proven recipe, a proven formula so you can just stick your key in the ignition and drive away and start making freedom money ASAP without messing around doing it the hard way. If that's you, I invite you to book a call at mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply forward slash apply. Again, this is not a sales call. This is not some high pressure sales pitch. This is about having an honest conversation to see if we can help you. If we can help you, we're gonna show you what that looks like. If we can't, we'll let you know some other solutions or make some other recommendations. Either way though, we are your advocate. We're here to be your champion, to serve you to your dream. But obviously, if we have to pressure you to make freedom money, you're not ready to make freedom money. So we're not here to sell you or pressure you. We're here to show you the pathway to prosperity if you're committed and if you're ready to step up and change your life. So we're here to change your life if you're committed. So again, if that sounds cool to you, book a call at mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. My name is Dorn Aldana coming at you from the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast. We just talked about how to strategically pivot from the refi market to the purchase market, doing it the smart way, the strategic way, the intelligent way, as opposed to the hard way, the slow grind way, and the unnecessary suffering way. So I trust you got some insight. Perhaps you got some new distinctions. Perhaps you got reminded of some things you already knew. We often need reminding more than we need educating. So all that is good. That's all putting in the reps towards building your mastery muscle. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And again, if you want more support from bonafide experts with world-class coaching to show you the pathway to prosperity in your mortgage business, book, book a call at mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. We'll see you on the next episode and keep showing up, shining your light and shining a bright. We'll talk to you soon. Peace, y'all.